remember school. I remember reading books in school. I remember having to write reports on books you read in school. Me too. Well, let's talk about the books I read in school. Hello everybody, this is Creatively Torn, a channel where I mostly talk about books, but sometimes don't. This video, I'm going to be talking about some of the books that I read when I was in school. So I've just been thinking lately about some of the books that I read, read when I was younger, whether that was by, cho by choice or by force. So I've just been thinking about the books that uh, we were forced to read in school, uh, which ones I liked, which ones I didn't, which ones I want to reread which ones I never want to see again. That led me to the idea for this video. Uh, so I'm just going to talk about some of the books I read in school. Not all of them, at least the ones that I can remember. And probably not all of the like children's books either. I know we read the BFG and like Amelia Bedelia, uh, but I'm not gonna talk about those because I don't want to, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, let's get started with this list. Uh, the first two that pop into my head were My Side of the Mountain and Where the Red Fern Grows. Uh, these are both kids books, middle grade books or something. Where the Red Fern Grows, I think is probably the most, the more popular of the two. Uh, it's about children and dogs and I gotta be honest, I haven't looked at a synopsis of this book in years. I haven't seen it or read it in years, so I did not prepare for this at all. Uh, that being said, this is one of the more popular kids' books, um, I think. And one of the ones that is one of the more emotional books uh, for kids. So I don't remember what year we, we read this, but I'm pretty sure it was one where our teacher read it to us rather than us reading it um, on our own. So that was good. Different, I don't know. I liked it. It was definitely emotional. Now the next one is My Side of the Mountain. Um, I don't remember who this is by, just like the the other one. Uh, this one is about a kid who runs away and goes to live in the mountains, in the woods, for a while. That's really all I remember. Uh, but I did like this one too, maybe even more than the Red Fern uh, book. So I do want to reread both of these sometime, I think. Again, I think this is one where our teacher read this one to us as a class. It was probably even the same year, to be honest. Um, but anyways, the next one that we read, this one was also one that was read to us, but I think it was a different uh, teacher. This was Holes by Louis Sakar. I think one of the more popular uh, kids books uh, from the early 2000s, late 90s or something. Pretty good book. I know it's a very popular one. Uh, they made a movie out of it, uh, in case you haven't heard. Yeah, it was good. Next up, we're going to move into junior high, or actually middle school first. Talk about The Hobbit. Uh, I actually read this one twice. The first one was in mid middle school. The other time was in 10th grade. And I have re read it since then, just last year. Uh, but The Hobbit came out. No, it didn't come out when I was in middle school. We read The Hobbit in middle school, um, right when the Lord of the Rings movies were beginning to come out. Um, and to be honest, I had never heard of the series before then. Um, I didn't know that the books existed until the movies were coming out. And we read The Hobbit, uh, which I had never heard of before, so it's interesting. I always kind of liked The Hobbit, it was never my favorite book, uh, but it was okay. I think that's remained until this day. It's not my favorite, even of the Lord of the Rings books. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. Jumping up again, I think into junior high. There's a couple ones that I, I'm pretty sure we read all the way through, or at least part of, or at least studied. The first one is The Odyssey uh, by Homer, obviously. Uh, we read this or studied or something in junior high. I believe we may have talked about the Iliad too. I'm not sure if we read that or just briefly glossed over it. But the audio, the Odi, the Odyssey was pretty good. Again, another thing that I would like to reread at some point in the future. Obviously, one of the more influential works in history. It's what made Homer 
Ruby Springfield, Starter Family. The next one I'm going to talk about is Romeo and Juliet, the play by Shakespeare. We read this one in junior high as a entry point to Shakespeare's work. Again, it was okay. It was not my favorite. It wasn't even my teacher's favorite. She, um, she even told us that she thought it was one of Shakespeare's weakest works. Um, but we read it. I think it, uh, it's a good place to start with Shakespeare. We didn't do the play. I know every sitcom has like, as kids, has the episode, episode where they do the play. And then the, the one kid always wants to be Romeo so that he can kiss Juliet, which always ends up being his crush. But that never happened for us, so I'm not sure if that happens in real life or not. Didn't for me, so what can I say? Our Shakespeare work is Julius Caesar. This is another one where I'm not sure if we read the entire thing or just brief, uh, briefly talked about it or read parts of it. I honestly couldn't say, but I know we did. Uh, go through some of it, as I recall some of the history around it and some of the uh, some of the plot I do recall, though not the entire thing. I did quite like this one, um, I think, much more than uh, Romeo and Juliet, for sure. I think this one was in sophomore year, so that would be high school. Another one I read at some point, it might have been junior high, but to be honest, I don't remember when, is Lord of the Flies. I know we read this at some point. I don't know when. Uh, I don't remember much about it either, other than the basic premise. I think we also watched the movie. I think there's a movie for it. Yeah, there is, isn't there? I don't have much to say about Lord of the Flies. I don't remember if I liked it or not. It was okay. I'm gonna talk about two short stories now that I remember reading. I know we read more short stories, uh, but most of them I don't remember. But two I am sure of. First one is The Monkey's Paw by whoever wrote that. I couldn't tell you. This is one of the more classic short stories in history. I think most people are aware of the general premise of The Monkey's Paw as just a general wish fulfillment story, even if you haven't read the, the, um, the actual story itself. I think you're aware of the, uh, the plot. Uh, so I did like that. I've always been attracted to the weirder and more supernatural stories regarding ghosts and aliens and different things like that. So I did obviously like this one quite a bit. Uh, the other short story I remember reading uh, in junior high or maybe high school. I don't know. It's all blur these days. Uh, it is The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe. I've talked about Poe on this channel a few times. Uh, he's one of my favorites. We read Mask of the Red Death. Also, we read, we didn't read The Raven, but we read a couple of his poems, the shorter ones, at some point. And I also did read uh, The Black Cat on my own in a anthology book uh, when I was in grade school. But aside from that, uh, the only story from the hymn that we read in school was The Mask of the Red Death, which I did quite like as well. Not as much as I did when I reread it last year, but I did quite like it. It really turned me on to Poe as a writer. Uh, got me interested in his style. So that was definitely a good choice. Moving on to another story I don't remember all that well is Flowers for Algernon. I think this is another one we read twice in different years. But I could just be lying about that. I know we read it for sure uh, once. Uh, it's something about a mouse or a rat, maybe. I know it's pretty tear jerky in the end. I don't remember what else, though. I know a lot of people really like this book. I may go back and reread it at some point. I don't know. Uh, moving on to high school, Tuesdays with More is one that uh, our sociology teacher read to us like a chapter each uh, each class period or something. I just because he liked it, I don't know, he didn't really um, have a, a lesson plan for it or anything. Uh, just a good book, uh, which I did really like. I do want to reread re that one at some point in the future. Uh, it's a very good book. I do have Mitch Albums, The Five People You Meet in Heaven, 
which I don't think I have read, but I did see the movie before. Uh, so I'll be reading that sometime in the next year or two. Want to reread the uh, two seasons with more a book again though too. Next up is Of Mice and Men by Leon Seinbach, which you read in 10th grade, which I didn't love. I thought it was okay. I know a lot of people do seem to like this one though. I want to reread it again, just because I wasn't the best judge of books when I was in 10th grade. So I would like to give it another chance, as I have read more Steinbeck. Since then, obviously, if you have paid attention to my channel, you'll know. Um, so I want to give this one another chance. Flipping back into Junior High once again, since I forgot this one. This is maybe my favorite book from junior high and high school. That is To Kill a Mockingbird. Read this one in ninth grade. I quite like this one, which is saying something because there's a lot of books I didn't like uh, in junior high, but this one was very good. One that I have reread since then last year. That's even better than I remember. So if you haven't read this one since school, I do recommend giving it another go. That really takes care of my high school era. There are a few books from college that we read. First one is Fight Club that I didn't really read all the way through. I read part of it uh, and I did see the movie. I, I liked it okay. I just wasn't in the mood for reading at that time. I do have a copy of it now that I do want to read, uh, to read proper sometime soon. So the other book that we read that year is 1984. Which then, I, again, I didn't read the entire book uh, then, but I have it since. And it's one of my favorite books of all time currently. Uh, so definitely one that is worth checking out. I'm pretty sure you know what 1984 is, um, even if you haven't read it. And if you haven't read it, I do recommend it. Uh, it's kind of a dry read at some points, uh, but it's got very important ideas. I think it's well worth the read. I guess everything though, that's all I talked about. There are some books that I read while I was in school, but just on my own, which I think I'm gonna do a separate video about. Um, maybe like a top 10. But those are the books that I was required to read in uh, grade school, middle school, junior high, high school, college, I think that about takes care of everything that I remember. So uh, if you suck through this horrible video this long, I thank you for it. Uh, and I will see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, the next one is on my my uh, my side of the mountain. Uh, um, you know it's what's what? What am I talking about?